Okay, the first thing I want to say about this Kevin Hart situation is he brought all this shit on himself. It's a young samurai, I smoke a split in a cup, and I pass a lot to my pro. No fuck with my flow. Couple bad bitches in a cup of that show. So it's just THC. Hey yo, I appreciate it if you could hit that like button right about now. BBN, Jack Frost, what's up, party people? Hey, let's get right into this. Let's talk some facts first. Okay, so a fact is Kevin Hart has been videotaped to his belief in a situation that he would prefer that his wife not see or the viewing public. And since it has become a possibility that this video will get out instead of Paying basically a ransom. <laughs> you know, it's extortion money is basically a ransom. Instead of paying the ransom, he has decided to come public with all of the information. Because, you know, once you start paying somebody one time, you might have to pay them two times and three times. And then more, more, more. And then the next thing you know, you're paying them forever. So Kevin Hart said, you know what? I'm going to pull a Slim Shady out this. And I'm just going to expose myself that i think was very smart for multiple different reasons like i said before you don't want to have to pay and then the person comes back again you know obviously what could this person have going on in their life that they're extorting you in the first place they must not have anything going on so let's say you give them a couple hundred thousand dollars right let's say you give them a hundred thousand dollars who isn't to say that they're gonna blow through that in a matter of a couple months or a month i, I knew this dude right he, he he got money in the worst way possible. His uh when his parent passed away and she left him a hundred thousand dollars uh life insurance, right? So basically he got a hundred thousand dollars or something close to that. I mean I don't know what taxes would have did or if taxes is involved in or whatever. The dude spent the majority of the money smoking weed and hanging out with his new friends. Not his old friends that he, this is like, this is the things people do. Not his old friends that have been around him his whole life, but some brand new dudes that he just met. Ran through all of his money. Next thing you know, he doesn't have any money left. So who isn't to say that Kevin Hart gives this lady $100,000 and she don't appear back up on his doorstep two to three months later. So he did the right thing. Look, before you could expose me, I'm going to expose you. That's one. Okay. Two, there's a, a I heard, I, I, didn't, I didn't literally hear the girl say this on any kind of audio, but supposedly she said that he was so inebriated that taking advantage of him was easy. That's what she said. Now, if we're going to say giving a female... Too much alcohol or a female could be at the point where she cannot consent. Then we must also agree that a male can be at the point where he cannot in, a, give a consent. Right? I mean, right? There has to be a point. If there's a point for a female to be so intoxicated that even if she says, yes, let's do it. You have to say, look, baby. This don't feel right. Then exactly the same thing should be said for a man. Matter of fact, if a female was too inebriated to give consent, that is right. If you intoxicate a female or drug a female up to the point where she cannot, where, where it could be thought of that she cannot make decisions for herself and she agreed to have sex with you after she has been intoxicated past her point of being able to make intelligent decision that is rape literally that is rape this is not me saying that's rape like oh man i believe that that's rape or in my opinion there's a moral there's a moral compass that we must all have and if you do that to a female then basically my moral standards tell me that you're no i'm saying it's rape because the law says it's rape that's rape. So now she's saying that Kevin Hart was so inebriated. He was so drunk and so high. She said drugged or drugging 
or off of drugs or whatever she said, that he cannot, that it was easy. So one, that leads me to believe that before he got drunk and high or whatever the heck he was, you've tried before and were unsuccessful. That's what it leads me to believe. You, you've tried this and you were unsuccessful. And now he's all unable to control himself. So yeah, we up in this bitch. You understand? So that's one. That's one point where she has absolutely out of her own mouth. It sounds to me like she's broken the law. And on top of that, that would make more sense why he would come forward with such a thing. Because I'm not paying you because you drugged me. Or, I'm not even there yet. I'm not paying you because I was at whatever function and I got so drunk and so high I couldn't control myself. Or, I, I it's not even that I couldn't control myself. I don't even want to say that. I'm going to say that I didn't have control of my faculties and you took advantage of me. I'm not going to pay you for that. I'm going to pay you for that? I was so drunk and high you took advantage of me and now you want me to pay you? I'm losing two times? Oh no, this ain't happening. Right? So that's one. Because that's that right there. With, with When she said he, it was easy. He was so drunk and high, it was easy. No, drunk and drugged. She used the words drugged. So I, it was easy. So she raped him. That's rape. That's what they need to be looking into. That's one. Two, she filmed it. Now... Not only did she film it, she filmed it without his consent. Matter of fact, he couldn't even give consent. Because if you can't give consent for sexual contact, sex for to have sex, you absolutely can't give your consent to be filmed. So he couldn't even give consent. So right then and there, that makes whatever she video recorded evidence. That makes it evidence of a crime. So now, if she sells it to someone, they are now complicit in her crime after the fact. I haven't seen it on TMZ. I'm going to be surprised if I see any of it on TMZ. Anything that involves the sexual part of it, I would be surprised if I see it on TMZ. Because they got lawyers. They know this. That lady has committed crimes. So all of you feminists out there, and I'm not talking about the females out there that just want fair, want women to be treated fairly, want us to love our women of whatever nationality, because they're right. We need to show our women more love. That's facts. I'm talking about the feminists out there that their whole entire agenda is men are bad. Oh man, I burnt the toast. Men are bad. Those people. Oh man, I ran into three red lights straight. I'm gonna be late for work. Men is bad. Those people. Those are the ones I'm talking about. Oh man, I poured my cereal. On, I poured my milk on my cereal, and then I had to go answer the phone. And when I came back, the cereal was soggy. I can't eat soggy cereal. Men are bad. Those are the women I'm talking about. The ones that irrationally blame men for everything. Them. If they're not also saying that this young lady raped this man, that just shows the hypocrisy inside of all of this extreme women's movements that they got going on. You can't go on the internet. Oh, man. I can't even tell you some of the stuff that goes... Uh, everybody has the internet. Everybody has Twitter, dang yeah. So y'all know what I'm talking about. It's just insane. It makes it... So I don't really want to tweet out anything even positively towards a female saying something positive i tweeted out about three or four positive tweets last week and got shit for them got absolutely attacked <laughs> it's crazy absolutely attacked it made no sense why 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 it's crazy it's just absolutely insanity so basically as far as whatever's going on with Kevin hart I don't know. I'm just telling y'all basically from what I heard. 
I've, I'm going to do a little bit more delving into it and try to find out exactly what's going on in the situation. But I'm not going to just report stuff just to be... they over here harassing his wife. Like, what does his wife know about this? You got the reporters <laughs> or whoever they are running up on his wife saying, Hey, are you and Kevin doing good? No, her and Kevin are not doing good. Her husband was raped. Y'all just want to pass it off as he's just, yes, okay, just because somebody's cheated before, that doesn't mean that they can't be raped in the future. That's one. Two, she was the person that he cheated with initially and left his first wife. So, if anything, she knows exactly what type of ways that this dude cheats and how he goes about his cheating. So, if this was a situation where he was literally, really cheating on her, she would know what it smells like. That's my point. She'd be like, oh, this, this dude was really out there cheating. You understand? So either she knows he was out there cheating or she knows her husband got raped. None of these things would be good. Anyway, leave the comments down below. I want to know what y'all think about this. Because personally, I think they need to lock this chick up. I think they need to just start locking all of these females up that do this. Because this, like, this should not be a freaking job. It shouldn't be a job to try to make sure that you stay in shape. So you can have sex with some celebrity, film it, and then extort them. That shouldn't be a job. Literally. It is a job. <laughs> and just my last, my last, 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 last thoughts on this. Remember when Kobe Bryant got in trouble for the rape in that Colorado hotel and they were interviewing him and he said, I should have just paid her off. That's what Shaq does. I believe he wasn't saying that Shaq just pays the women to come and, you know, hey, yeah, I'm just going to pay you and we're going to sleep together. I think Shaq got caught up a couple of times and just said, fuck it and gave the money. And that's what he's saying. I should have just gave her money. She was trying to extort me. But I can't talk about how she's trying to extort me due to the fact that this is a rape case and how people are attacking me. I'm not saying that that's 100% what happened in that situation. But I'm saying when I heard it, that's how I felt about it. Oh man, I should have just paid her off. I should have just paid the extortion money. Anyway... Let me hit your comments down below. I want to know what y'all guys think about this. As always, what y'all guys think about this is way more important to me what I think about this. Because I already know what I think about this. So like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Join the Bloodlust Hooligans. Actually, that's my other team. Y'all got a part of me. Join the Bronx Bombers. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Okay, just for everybody to know, I'm a 2K player. And the name of my team on 2K is the Bloodlust Hooligans. We're going to be on the BBN Gaming BBN Gaming, like this is Bronx, the BBN Network, there's a BBN Gaming channel that we're going to be uh, going on, I, I really wasn't going to push that channel on here, I want that channel to grow more organically, like this channel grew organically without the help of a different channel, but I do have a BBN Gaming channel that I'm going to be streaming 2K18 on when I get my team and everything together, the name of us are the Bloodlust Hooligans, hashtag Bloodlust Hooligans, but here the hashtag is Hashtag Bronx Bombers. So, hey, let's keep each other safe. I love y'all. And for now, that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much. And enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.